losing of ourselves or a loved one, passing away is never easy. But it's also a reality we must plan for. Funerals can be expensive. The expenses include burial and undertaker costs, a service, coffin and tombstone, catering and venue hire, and the transport of guests who sometimes travel from far. It all adds up quickly, especially if you have a big family. In Mzanzi, an average funeral can cost anything from 10 to 50,000 rands, with some as high as 100,000 rands. So, it's a good idea to consider funeral cover to help cover expenses. Funeral insurance is designed to cover only funeral-related costs. The amount paid out is not enough to support your family for an extended period after the funeral. It is designed for the funeral expenses only. Funeral policy claims are usually paid out within 24 to 48 hours if all documents are submitted. This means your beneficiaries can hopefully cover most funeral expenses without going into debt. Keep in mind that under SA insurance laws, a maximum of 100,000 Rand cover is available under any single funeral policy. For children aged 6 to 13, it is 50,000 Rand. And for those under 6 years of age, the maximum payout is 20,000 Rand. The amount of funeral cover you need generally depends on what and who it's covering. Who can be covered by a funeral policy? Generally, you're able to take out cover on anyone whose death would result in your financial loss. This is called insurable interest and includes you, immediate family members like a husband, wife or children under 21, extended family like parents, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts and cousins, even non-blood relatives like stepchildren or a life partner. Wondering about premium costs? Before deciding how much cover you want to take out, ask yourself, how much can I afford to pay as a monthly premium? The higher the benefit amount you choose, the higher the monthly premium would be. How much will my or a loved one's funeral cost? On average, funeral costs are between 10,000 to a maximum of 100,000 rands. It is wise to work through a funeral expense checklist. What do you want the policy to cover? Some insurers will offer a range of optional benefits or as some call it, rider benefits on funeral policies. These additional benefits can assist your family in their time of need. For example, assistance in paying groceries, grief counseling or monthly provider benefit. Premiums for funeral cover may be higher than life insurance premiums for the same amount of cover because you don't need medical tests to get funeral cover as you do with life insurance, which requires confirmation of your current health status and any pre-existing conditions you may have. Other important factors to keep in mind are that if you pass away from an illness or natural causes, most funeral policies have a standard six-month waiting period. This means you'll only be covered from six months after your benefit start date and all six premiums are received. In the event of suicide, the waiting period may be up to 12 months. If your death is accidental, your family may claim on your policy from the day you take out cover. No waiting periods apply. If you die as a result of any criminal activity, you can't claim at all. If you stop paying your premiums or skip a few months, your policy lapses and no payout will be made. It's a good idea to take out funeral cover from an authorized financial services provider or insurance broker. While undertakers also sell policies you need to make sure these policies are properly underwritten by a licensed insurer and are legally binding. As with all insurance cover, 
funeral policies cater for every kind of person. Chat to a financial advisor or financial services provider to make sure you understand how a funeral policy could help you or to be sure you understand the benefits and exclusions on a policy you already have. Congratulations, you are now streetwise on the basics of funeral cover. Hollard Life Limited, a licensed life insurer and authorized FSP.